guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Create This Book 2 episode 11. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. We got four awesome pages. It took a lot of work to put this together, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would really mean the world to me. All you have to do is click that red button down below or click the link in the description. It's completely free and it really helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020. We are on the last 200, guys. We're the last stretch. So tell your friends, get people to subscribe. Anyway, let's go with the episode. Woo! So the first page today says create repetition, repetition, repetition. Fill the space by repeating something over and over. So I've been looking forward to doing this page for a long time. And I thought I would devote this entire page to the Black Lives Matter movement. So, as you may have guessed, I'm going to be repeating Black Lives Matter over and over again. So first, I did Black Lives Matter in the middle in block letters, and then I'm writing Black Lives Ladder, Ladder? Matter over and over in the background with rainbow colors, which you'll see in a minute. If you want to see more of my stance on the Black Lives Matter movement, hear about all the ways you can help make a difference and all of that. I actually made a full video on it called Together We Can Make a Difference and you guys should watch that and it'll give you a lot more about it. But this page, I really just wanted to honor it and repeat it over and over because it needs to be shouted from the rooftops. I bought these gel pens from somebody and I've been using them a lot recently um, and I decided to use them in this page by using them to write rainbow all along the back Black Lives Matter over and over. This was quite repetitive, but it was kind of fun to like go down the rainbow and go down all the different colors. I kind of just did like different shades of the color for each one, and then I kept going line by line. And yeah, eventually it got the job done. This page was pretty quick and simple, but it definitely needed to be made, and I really like it overall. So here's the final thing. Create emphasis. Place multiple things on this page. Choose one of them to emphasize using color, size, lines, etc. So I was actually pretty stuck on ideas for this page. I had a lot of different things that I was going to do and none of them really spoke to me. But then I had the genius idea. Emojis. You know them, you love them, use them obsessively when you're text, if you're me. So I used a perfume bottle cap to draw a bunch of good circles, and then I drew a big one in the middle. And the one I'm going to emphasize is the cool face emoji, which I'm going to make a lot bigger, and I'm going to make it in a rainbow instead of the classic yellow. So I looked up pictures online of all the emojis, and I started drawing a bunch of them out. It was actually really fun, although very time consuming. This took a very long time to sketch out, draw, color in, all that jazz. So I tried my very best to make sure every single little spot had an emoji in it and that they overlapped each other well. So I think I did a pretty good job. I think like almost every single space has an emoji in it. So now I'm actually using like a normal pen that you would write with to go around the edge because I don't want to use a sharpie because I don't want it to bleed through, but I wanted it to be a solid line and not like a color pencil line. So yeah, once I did that and went around all the circles, we got out our colored pencils. So I'm going in with the brown for all of the eyes and stuff. I don't know if you guys like this too, but I always assumed it was like black for the eyes and stuff of the emojis, but actually if you look at the emoji, it is a brown and not a black. It like makes sense when you look at it, but like you always think it's black and it's not, and it's, it's kind of stressful and disturbing, but once you realize it, it's okay. So I just went over all the eyes and everything with the brown, which I'm going to try to speed through this as best I can because this honestly took me like, I don't know, three or four hours to do this page. It was a lot of effort to do all the different little details and all of the emojis. So yeah, I'm going in with my colored pencils. So as you guys know, these colored pencils were my new colored pencils that I got for my birthday. I used to use Crayola colored pencils, which worked fine for me, but I was getting trying to get some nicer colored pencils. So I got these ones that I'm using in this clip for my birthday which I liked these okay, but there was like 170 colors, like it was a lot of colored pencils. And also, they just honestly weren't the best quality, and it just wasn't really for me. So I ended up actually selling those and buying some Prisma per Prismacolor Premier Color Pencils, which I ended up using later in the video. So yeah, that's all the color pencils. Now I actually have some ones that I like, and yeah, that's the end. As you can see here, I did like a little 
gradient border around the edge of each of the yellow emojis. That added to the time, but I also think it definitely added to the quality. So I just added a nice coat on top of that Mod Podge. And here's the file page. I'm so proud of this page. It is really cool and it's probably one of my favorites ever and definitely my favorite of this episode. Create variety. Include as many different colors, textures, and or materials on this page. So I decided to go with materials for this and I wanted to use as many possible different mediums to color in this page. So I started by doing a drawing and I wanted to draw people for this page. I wanted to draw people holding a variety of different foods. I don't really know. This idea kind of popped into my head. I had another idea before this which didn't end up turning out good so I was like I just honestly was kind of stuck and I decided to go with something a little bit simple that could kind of change up and make how I needed to make it. So yeah, I'm drawing some people. Don't judge my people drawing skills. <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing people. I'm just trying to learn through you doing this book. That guy had a really small head until I fixed it later. <laughs> Watch this magic trick. Boom. Now they're better. <laughs> now I'm going over with my Micron Fine Liner. So, so far we've used two different materials, unless you include the paper. We've used a pencil and a Micron Liner. So I'm just going over my original sketches of the various people holding various foods or drinks. One fat guy there is wearing, wearing a drink. <laughs> holding a drink. I am seriously losing my marbles today. I don't know what is going on with me, but I cannot talk. <laughs> so once I finish using the Micron Liner, I pulled out my watercolors because I'm going to do a gradient in the background for the sky using my watercolors. So watercolor on printer paper like I'm using here is usually not a super enjoyable and easy experience. As you can see, it's soaking up the water a lot and it was quite difficult to get it to blend good, but once it dries, it does actually look pretty decent. And now I am adding the grass here. So I decided to use gel pens as the medium for the grass. So I was using various colors of gel pens and then filling it in with colored pencils. Then I got out crayons, huge kindergarten nostalgia vibes, do that little brick section. And then I got out markers to do the shirts of everybody's um, clothing. <laughs> but, I don't know what kind of weather is going on here, but that guy has a sweatshirt and pants on, and the girl to the right has a tank top and shorts on. Everybody is just feeling their vibe. <laughs> the last medium that I'm using that I kind of already used a little bit for the grass is color pencils. I'll be filling in the skin and the um, pants and everything else with the colored pencils. These are the new Prisma colors I was talking about before. It was super fast shipping, I was super excited to use them. And overall I do really like them, although I still have to like learn about how I'm going to blend them and make them smooth. But overall I like them and yeah, it was a fun experience coloring them in. So yeah, as I'm finishing up this page, I realize that this is not my best work. It's honestly not that great. but. It's good enough to let it into the book, and I think it was just good practice for me to practice using different mediums on the same page, and to practice drawing people, so yeah, this is kind of a practice page, but overall I do like it, and I think it's an okay addition to the book. So yeah, here's the final thing. on black. Seems simple enough. So I also kind of have been waiting for this page because I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I was like, uh, I don't really have any ideas for how I'm going to do this. But then I had the idea of doing pandas. Now pandas obviously have white and black in them so that would be kind of interesting, but I thought it would be fun if I used a metallic marker. So I'm speeding through the sketching process because you can't really see anything I'm doing. I'm using a metallic sharpie and I'm going over um, these pandas that I drew. I kind of just drew simple, cute designs for the pandas. As you see, there's little spots where the bamboo was going to go, which I'm going to make later. And I'm just filling in all the parts of the panda that would be white with metallic. Um, this turned out okay. There were some parts, I feel like I could have drawn them better, but this is what they look like. I think they look pretty cute. It was really simple and fun, but yeah, I like it. So then I pulled out some strips of white paper and some paint, and I painted over them with like a color of bamboo. Then I added little details with a darker green. I also made some little leaves to go off of the bamboo. So once I let that dry, it was time to glue it into the book. So the story behind this is the two parents are trying to work together to build a nice home or something, I don't know, for the pandas to live in. And the two twin children are just messing around, messing everything up, climbing on all the bamboo, and the parents are just like really annoyed by their kids. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is the final page. I actually really like this one. It's cute, although not my best. Bye guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to get Katie to her goal of a thousand by the end of the year. Um, I am on the title. But I'm filming the outro because I wanted to test out Katie's new camera. Pretty lit. Tune in to see me in a few weeks. I'm gonna me. vlog and I'm gonna take over the channel and Addy, but that's not that important. <laughs> JK. Ow. Bye!